business is a skill set that even the naturally born uh, person who is more inclined to understanding profits and opportunities who have a more you know go-getter mindset or hustler mindset they still need to learn if they don't learn how to do it then you can't own a business Sunday Tribe and it's another session of Sunday Insights and today I have selected Marcy's question um, and I believe her situation is probably quite similar with uh, quite a number of uh, people who are um, you know affected by the pandemic in their business right now so I feel that uh, some of the points that I might raise even though I'm reading her parts, that might be useful for some of you here in this tribe. So Marcy's question is that she started a yoga and wellness center over six years ago and somehow managed to keep it floating through the pandemic, which is great, by the way, Marcy. It's well done because a lot of business closed down within the first five years they opened, and that is before the pandemic. You know, so uh, you are amongst those who did pretty well, okay? So you gotta give yourself a pat on the back. And, uh, and you say here, I've never really paid myself or been profitable, but I love the community I've built. I am feeling so burned and burn out and tired. Mm, okay, burned out and tired. I would love a career or business where I can feel like I'm making a difference and make generous income. Don't we all? <laughs> is, uh, is it time for me to walk away or do I keep pushing through? Oh, wow. Okay, this is obviously a... Um, dilemma that you're in um, I will look at your chart from the perspective of a few things and but at the end of the reading then you decide whether you want to walk away or keep pushing through because the decision must be yours okay if I look at your chart right now um, born in the year of the fire snake month of metal pig day of earth dog and hour of fire snake and uh, current luck cycle is wood rabbit okay so now some of you are new to Pata so I'm going to be as layman as possible okay as for some of you who are students of Pata in this tribe here then probably you can uh, you know you probably appreciate some of the technical stuff here okay but I'll try and keep it as layman as possible for the benefit of the majority here in this tribe so if you look from a general perspective most of the traditional masters of Pata will look at the chart and say whether someone is suitable or not suitable for business so as in, if you're not suitable and you do business, it's going to be difficult. Uh, if you're suitable, you do business, then it's going to be, uh, you're going to make uh, money because money just fall on your, on your lap. Everything will be easy. Uh, that is absolutely bullshit, okay? There's no such thing as a uh, natural born business person. Or now, I know you may say, huh, you mean, how come there's none? I thought there is. That is because... You know, business is a skill set that even the naturally born uh, person who is more inclined to understanding profits and opportunities, who have a more, you know, go-getter mindset or hustler mindset, they still need to learn. If they don't learn how to do it, um, then you can't own a business, okay? So you need to first get that in, in, in mind. So now, in your chart here, uh, Marcy, you have the output hurting officer, which is sin metal, producing um, the pink, which is the month of birth, which is indirect wealth. So that alone is already a good structure for owning a business. The thing is, you have a clash between the year and the hour, which is both fire snakes, both clashing into the month, which obviously is the dilemma, right? So what does this dilemma reflect in real life and how do you overcome it? Okay, so... I wouldn't say you're not suitable. I'm saying you should overcome the dilemma between number one, making an impact, being that spiritual person, making an impact, making a difference, and number two, making a million dollars, being successful, being profitable. You, uh, the, the question is, how do you marry these two very important, very you know, diverse uh, uh, perspectives, you know? Because some people think that making money is bad, you know, you can't be profitable because you want to make a difference. So here's how I'm going to tell you to align your thoughts. If you want to make a difference, if you want to make an impact, you've got to be able to make more money. 
because the the profit is what fuels your business to make bigger impact. Without that, if you don't want to focus on profitability and business and pay yourself first, you can't become better to help other people and therefore your business is going to be able to serve less people. So to serve your spiritual goal of making more impact and making it meaningful, you got to make money and be okay with that. I keep saying this because the clash tells me that there is a dilemma internally, all right? That, oh, you know, I'm going to be making an impact, but I can't be rich because I'm a spiritual person. No such thing. If you're spiritual, you're obligated to make money so that you're, you are able to make more impact because what you know and what you have is good, okay? So remember, this is the first point. The second point is this, okay? You have a structure of output producing wealth. Output producing wealth star, which means that you need leverage in your business. Without leverage, you don't have a company, Marcy. You just have a big job. You gotta have leverage, okay? So uh, if you're doing everything yourself, right? You don't hire anyone. You don't use anyone's time and resources. You got no leverage. Then you just have a big job. And that's why you get tired. Okay? Change this. And uh, number three, because your most important star here is the output star right now, the sin metal, producing the wealth element, and your month pillar, I need you to think about this. What is your secret sauce? What is your awesome sauce to find and add so much more value than any of your other competitors out there? You need to, you need to be able to answer this question. Okay? I can't answer this for you because I'm not you. None, no other people can answer this. Only you can. If you can find a way to add more value than any other com competitor out there consistently over time, you will win. Okay? So that's the truth, all right? And by the way, we talk about the truth and I'm sure you value the truth because you have two direct resource star in your chart. You always want to know the truth and you seek the truth. You're a truth seeker. Then why do you seek the truth? Because the truth sets you free, right? So here's the thing. You must be true to yourself about where you are, like where you really are in your business right now. If you're not true to yourself where you really are in your business, you cannot change anything, okay? And uh, remember to use your natural power, which is um, Earth Dog, which is your day pillar, is persistence. You do need unbelievable amount of persistence to pursue your vision. Vision is your hurting officer star, right? That metal star that producing the alpha. So because for Earth to produce metal, it takes a lot to crack open the Earth. So I need you to have that unbelievable amount of persistence to pursue this vision. Oh, by the way, do you still have your vision after six years? If not, it's time to revisit that, okay? And next, I need to tell you this, okay? Now, I'm, I'm just giving it to you in points because that's how I read your chart. I just wrote down some points for you today. I hope this is serving you, okay? Uh, overall, in your, in your chart, because Earth is produced by, flanked by two fire snakes, so the Earth becomes hard, and when it hardens, the energy becomes low. Here's the thing, Marcy, write this down. When your energy is low, fear will take over your mind. When your energy is low, fear will take over your mind. And that's when you're going to be scared of doing this and scared of expansion. You feel like giving up and, you know, if you give up, you're not going to be able to impact your community anymore. So think about it. Is it because your energy is low? If it is low, well, do what you need to do. Yoga or whatever practice you are, increase back your energy. When your energy is higher, that's how you can overcome your fear, okay? Now, this is different for different people who has different structure of chart. I'm addressing Marcy's chart this way because that's what she has. If you look at her chart, she has a fire snake and snake is a DE. That's why I use this approach to help her, okay? Now, the next thing is this, right? Underneath Marcy's chart, you will see that there's the dog and dog is a friend star, okay? And this friend star, it's going to assist her in also uh, producing the yin metal. Okay, which is the source of her wealth. So I'm going to ask you, Marcy, this important question. Can you actually list down five to ten people that you constantly hang out with? 
you should because that's your metal uh, your your earth starts right below you so you should be hanging out with some people consistently besides your family member of course now next question Marcy how many of these people ha- are making 5 10 20 times more than you if none of them are Marcy you need to change your peer group because you need good friend stars that produce these innovative ideas and and challenge to help you become better friend star okay that's how you oh by the way if you're learning parts this is how you use a friend star right so i need you to do now you said you wanted honesty you you value truth so tell me are they making 5 10 20 times if not gotta change your peer group and um, I think the, the barriers, the, the actual uh, limitations of your business right now is you, okay? If you look at the earth pillar right now, the earth, the fire produces the earth, earth becomes hard and it's, make, it's very difficult to produce the metal. So the chokehold right now is yourself, right? So you might say, but what's the chokehold, right? Okay, I would, I'm just making an assumption here looking at the chart. It could be that you don't have a big enough margin Right, because uh, judging on the chart, everything is sort of climbing into that wealth element, right? The, the snakes are clashing it, earth is clashing it, you know, on all sides. So maybe you're probably fearful to have a big enough margin, and because you don't have a big enough margin, you cannot succeed in business. You know why? Because there are no room for mistakes. When you have a big enough margin, at least if you make some mistakes in your marketing, in your, you know, whatever you're doing, you've got some room to actually rectify it and make improvements and grow. You need, might I suggest, at least minimum of 40% margin. Okay? All right. So, by the way, Snake is uh, number four if for those of you who are reading um, Learning Parts. Okay? That's what you need. And I would assume uh, that uh, you probably don't have enough financial skill sets or have clarity on financial skill sets right now. Um, you got to have great financial skill sets to actually know what is happening in your business and not just, you know, on your whims and fancies of being artistic about your work. This skill set is necessary, okay? Because you have outproduced wealth and wealth is in your uh, career palace. So you need financial skill sets. The second skill set you need is great marketing skill set. Now, marketing today is much easier. It's much easier to market today, but harder to get results, especially in a field that is quite common, right? Like yoga, but still, it depends on skill sets. And how do you change? Well, based on your chart, because you have a strong day pillar called Earth Dog, I would say you need to change a little bit about your definition of self-esteem. I would say, let's rewrite this this way for yourself. Self-esteem for you would be the ability to get yourself to do difficult things. And, uh, you know, well, what I mean is like, probably in your life, you could have, you might have so many people say good things about you. You're smart, you're clever, you're beautiful, you did, you, you're doing a, a, a great job. And probably you won't believe it. But when there's one person who say that you can't do something, you go all out to prove them wrong. So bring that energy back, okay? If you don't say you do what you do, your naysayers are right. Use that approach to give yourself strength once again and uh, get into momentum. Once you get into momentum, your business uh, will pick up and uh, you will be on a winning streak again, okay? So how do you do that? Well, I because your Wu Earth, uh, Wu Sheet, which is Earth Dog, now it's like a big mountain, very hard to move, right? So what, do you, what should we do? Okay suggestion like for example let's just say um you no know, you know why some people give some fake laugh and then when a lot of fake laughs and then it leads to a real laugh so what you need to do is use your body a little bit more right be moving right so you're doing yoga which is good but you need to go places see people do it do practice in the open when you use physical movements more that will lead to more action okay so it's quite important uh, that you do that and uh, another point i made here is because you have resource staff flanking on year and an hour and hour represents ambition and drive so uh, also because that represents thought itself i would need you to do a bit of um, you know rewire your a bit of your the way you see things train yourself to look for what's right 
democracy is by default because resource is always careful, you know. So they will look for what's wrong because it's resource help you survive. So because you're always on survival mode, you will look for what can go wrong. So you need to train yourself to use the metal element, which is to become optimistic to look for what is right in that situation. Okay. All right, so do that, right? So I've given you a couple of suggestions. I don't know if you're taking notes, but try that out, okay? And um, yeah, I also see that you're going through the luck pillar of wood rabbit and uh, wood rabbit. Rabbit is, um, you see, rabbit combines with the dog and it also combines with the, the pig, which is your well star. And so it's going to give you some dilemma, right? So, so don't worry, the chart doesn't give you a dilemma, sorry. It puts you in a situation where I need to help you now to clarify certain things. You may think that you can't increase your price. Why I say that? Because officer is restrictive, okay? So you, and because it's uh, combining with your wealth uh, style, so you probably think, okay, I can't increase my price of my yoga classes or whatever you're offering right now. Listen, your classes are not expensive when you know, write this down, who is your real ideal client, okay? Who is your real ideal client? And number two, what do they fear most? Okay, just these two things. Do some homework, all right, Marcy? It's not a magic thing. I'm reading a Bazzi chart, you know? So uh, do this homework, right? If you work these two things out and you really, really know who they, your ideal customer is and what they fear most, you literally will own your market, okay? I think really it's whatever you are, are working on is basically a... Um, it's between what people desire most and what they fear most, okay? If you can understand that, that rhythm, you understand that rhythm, you understand your market, okay? So um, get your secret sauce, that, that, that uh, awesome sauce of yours, add more value to anyone, any other yoga practitioner in the market and, and, and add significant uh, margin to what you're doing, then you will succeed, okay? You know, some people want convenience, some people want status, all right um you know people want different things right so what is your awesome sauce think about that right the awesome sauce in, in your world right now is that that is whatever that you that you add that intangible value right that value that goes way beyond what anybody can really measure in your world okay so it's your world right so every business owner has that it's different right i have my my own awesome sauce and you have your own awesome sauce that sets you apart so that's how you use your hurting officer staff, right? It's the ability to find a way to do way more for your clients, your yoga students than anybody, any other yoga practitioner out there. And you got to maintain that, okay? And by the way, uh, here's something that I, I see that might need a little bit of uh, um, adjustment because your uh, soul palace is water tiger. Okay, so there is a, a well star is there, right? The, your run water is your well star, yang water is your well star. So I need to ask you this very important question here. Um, how, okay, I'm asking the whole tribe. Tribe, you guys are all listening to me right now. How many of you here would agree that you have an asshole or a bitch personality inside you right now? How many of you have a romantic or a lover personality? Right, you can have both, right? How many of you can admit that you're also an asshole or a bitch sometimes? Right, so we have different people inside us, but we are the same person. All right, now I need to ask you this question for Marcy especially. Who, which personality is running your business? That's important, okay? So because if the wrong personality that you, are run, you, are, you have right now is running the business, then... You, like for example, at home, you might be a very sweet person, you know, very uh, compassionate, um, you know, very easygoing. But when you run a business, you probably will have to be a bit more warrior-like, uh, a bit more profit-driven. And, uh, you know, that, that, that strong, you know, uh, uh, personality need to, need to emerge, that warrior, warrior side of you need to emerge. You can't run your business being like a Mother Teresa personality, you know? So, think about that, okay? You do have that in you, Marcy. You just need to bring that, that, you know, strong 
uh, personality, that that warrior uh, princess uh, nature out, and uh, that way you will be able to uh, you know change your business. Okay, so uh, what else can I say here? All right, okay. Um, let's talk about your wealth star right now. Since you are uh, your rabbit luck pillar is combining with uh, um, the pig. And uh, it's also combining with the dog, a triple, a two-way combination. I would think you would serve a better market if you have three different levels of offer in your business right now. Not just one, maybe, you know, a small one and then a mid-level, mid-range and a high-ticket item. It would be much easier for you to cover all range in your market, right? I don't know how it works in your coaching world, maybe three months, six months, 12 months, I'm not sure, right? Think about that. And uh, you know, and and bring your your potential customers on experience, right? Most of your clients or, and and customers in this case here would be uh, obviously your officer element. By the way, direct officer element is clients, yeah. For those who are learning parts, they probably don't know what they need or want until they experience something different, right? And please don't do this survey thing in case your direct resource comes in and say, let's do a survey. No. Survey is only good for uh, accurate because it only reflects. It's not accurate because it reflects what's in people's mind, not in their hearts. So don't waste time with stupid surveys, right? So you, what you need is uh, you need them to experience something, right? And 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 you uh, for yourself, Marcy, you gotta have the courage to take to continue the step. If you have the courage, without courage, you will not take action on no matter how much knowledge you have. Okay. Without, without courage. So you got to master some courage to take that step, right? So remember, I go back to the basics. Ask yourself this question, right? To get the awesome sauce, why should, I, why should anyone do business with you and not with someone else? Why should someone else use you as their yoga coach or you'll come to yoga center as opposed to someone else? Okay? Because a lot of people just talk about their process and not about the outcome. So that's your awesome sauce. Why? Should they do it? Do the business with you. All right. So uh, think about this. A few shift in your thoughts can change your business by a few million dollars. Okay, Marcy, you gotta figure out your awesome sauce and do this. Articulate it clearly. That's the sin metal above water. Clarity. If you can articulate articulate this clearly, I think you got a winner. Okay. Narrow cast your 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 clients so you you get to um, that smaller I. Uh, uh, ideal client group because narrow down to exactly who your clients are the more narrow cast you have the more money you make okay and the, especially when you're able to articulate the exact outcome uh, that you could create for your uh, yoga clients all right so i uh, hope that uh, helps you and uh, you find that this reading is uh, useful for you and for those of you who are in the tribe who are listening I hope in some ways, although this is not your chart, but in some ways, some of this uh, information, uh, it's also helpful to you. And uh, for those of you um, who have some reflections on this, have learned something, do share your thoughts with me right here. Thank you so much.